Hey everybody, hope you're having an awesome day. So I wanted to go live for just a few minutes to talk about three advantages of self-publishing versus traditional publishing. So I want to um, define these two terms first. Self-publishing is basically you are the publisher. You can do it through Amazon, Kindle, Direct Publishing, also known as KDP, or another site like Ingram Spark. Create space, etc. So most of my clients, I'm a book development coach, use Amazon KDP. So self-publishing is basically you write the book, you have it edited, you have full control over the cover, the content, when it goes to market, etc. A traditional publisher is, you know, someone like Scholastic, Random House. This is not a, just for legal purposes. This is a criticism or an endorsement of those. But just, you know, those publishers that we all know and most of us love. So there's a very competitive process, especially now, to get your book picked up by, say, Random House or Penguin or another publisher. And that process usually requires you to get what's called a literary agent, which is someone who will decide that your book is worthy and shop it around and try to sell it. So we'll talk more about those two terms later, but I really want to focus on self-publishing for today. So one of the big advantages of self-publishing is you can get your book to market rather quickly. As soon as you get it written, edited, have the book cover, the book description, the book formatted, you can check out some of my other videos to see tips about that. You can get that book published for print and digital pretty quickly. I've worked for literary agencies, it was like 20 years ago, but I have worked for them and I'm in touch with a lot of them. And even once you get an agent, which can take a year or so to do, it can take one to two years to get your book published. So if you're someone with a message you're dying to get out there or a business owner who is looking to use your book for more leads and sales, it's going to take two to three years to get your book out there. So that's just, if you're accepted, I want to be positive, but it is very competitive. So acceptance is not guaranteed. Another advantage of self-publishing is you have full control over what goes in your book. This can also be a disadvantage, but again, we're trying to stay positive. You have full control over what goes in your book. I've worked with a ton of writers throughout my life. I've been a professional writer, well, since high school, but I'll just say 24 years after high school. I've worked with a lot of professional writers who have ended up really unhappy with what traditional publishers did to their work. They cut out stories they thought were important. They edited it so heavily that it didn't sound like the writer's voice anymore, and they weren't that happy with it. So you can control what your cover looks like, what your book description is, everything that's in your book. So that is one of the advantages of self-publishing. And like I said earlier, another one is getting to market quickly. A third one is you get more book royalties payments in general. So last time I checked, it, you could get about 70% after costs of royalties when you self-publish. So let's do the math. Say your book is $20 and it costs $3 for let's just use Amazon to print it. So that's $17 left. You get 70% of that or $11.90 per book sale. When you go with a traditional publisher, you get far less. I've heard of some people getting a dollar or two. I've heard of some people getting pennies. It depends on who you are and what your deal is. So if you're really ambitious, like one of my clients that I had, he actually had his books printed at cost, so it was about $3 a book. And when you put it up on Amazon, you can do that. You can order a bunch of books, your own books, for like the cost and have them sent to your house. And this was in a pre-COVID world, and he was carrying them around to all of his events and everywhere he went, and he was selling his book. I think it was for $20. So he was making, you know, basically $17 every single time he was selling his print book in person. So when you do things like that in person, you can make even more than the 70%. I know one night, I think he sold 200 at his book launch party. So that was like $3,400. And that can quickly, you know, more than recoup the cost of, you know, investing in editing, book covers, etc. So again, the advantages of self-publishing are it's much quicker time to market. 
you have full control over what goes in the book everything from the words in there to your cover and your you know book description and you make a lot more royalties so in future videos i'm going to talk about ways to market so you can make sure you get as many book sales as possible in the meantime if you need any kind of help writing editing publishing your book marketing your book please reach out to me you can check out my link tree if you're watching us on instagram there's a link to a discovery session you can dm me you can drop a comment and when i'm posting this on other sites i'll include that link and this has been an awesome live and i'm so 